So I believe that these last few weeks, it was very, very obvious what was happening. This is institutional's money, money's plan to try to get retail traders, including whales, to liquidate their bags, to give them cheaper entry points. And I will say they got a little bit of that, right? But overall, we won the battle. Their plan failed. We remain strong. In fact, when we look at what BTC has done and ADA has done and all other alts have done, they've actually been pretty resilient during this time. Most of them only retraced about 20% from when spot ETFs launched. So that's a great sign. The market is strong. And that's the reason why I say we won this battle. Now, because of what we're seeing in BTC, it's possible again that this could be the point where the market flips and makes further moves to the upside. What we're seeing in BTC is we saw our bounce you know, off of our CME line the other day, which was great. We obviously, or the CME gap we closed, we bounced off our 100 day moving average. We're, we're beginning to work our way back up, which is great. Today, we got that right now, at least we're getting that first liquidation candle. BTC sitting at a little over 41.3. They moved over $1,000 in less than an hour. This is some of those early signs of a possible next leg up here when it comes to BTC. When it comes to ADA, we're seeing a similar kind of move, right? Not as exaggerated of a candle, but we're up about 5% from uh, our lowest point over the last 24 hours, which is nice to see. We bounced off our 100-day moving average. We held this support line or this trend line down here. We're still in our uh, descending channel here. So we got to obviously make a move to the upside. We got to break this 20 and this 50-day moving average like we've talked about. When I look at RSIs, we're doing a very similar thing here. We're flipping around. We're starting to come up. We're, we're about to cross our signal line. When you look at BTC, we did actually cross our signal line. And I'll point out the last time we crossed our signal line without actually entering oversold territory was actually back here in May. So we had a little bit trickle of a, a little further of a trickle down. Our RSI actually went a little sideways at that point. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see if we get a little bit bigger of a spike, kind of like we saw here back in March, that massive explosion creating new cycle highs. I mean, that potential truly is there for BTC. And just think about what that is going to do for alts. That's where again, ADA could begin making that um, that big third leg, right? This big third leg towards the halving. So really what we just need is some more additional strength from retail. Retail just needs to continue to remain strong. Hopefully institutional money doesn't try to push us down further. We'll obviously see right now when we look at these spot ETFs, shoot, I should have had it pulled up. When we look at these spot ETFs, really the only selling has come from GBTC. That's it. Every, every other ETF is either flat or accumulating. I think that's very telling. And the funny thing is, is as BTC moves up, they have to buy more BTC to back the movements in price. So that's where this thing could obviously get very, very interesting. So we'll obviously wait and see what happens here. But there is there's an ongoing war that we're going to be in with institutional money. All right. They're going to keep trying to get their their mitts on positions. And it's just important that retail remains strong and prevent things from getting out of control. It's a big reason why I've said that, you know, I don't think we're going to new cycle lows. Some people are still talking about BTC getting down to like, like 11 to 13 K. Like we talked about way early on in the market cycle. I believe those times are long gone. That has never happened before in BTC. And even with now the emergence of institutional money, it doesn't look like it's going to be happening there either. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, this is not financial advice. Hopefully we continue to get another great day in the market. Have a great one. Catch you in the next one. Take care.